I will uh, quickly explain you the difference between uh, two concepts that are uh, getting uh, quite the popularity these days. First, let's start with the Kotlin multiplatform. So, Kotlin multiplatform is a uh, technology which uh, primary goal is to use a single programming language to build applications for uh, different platforms like uh, Android, iOS, uh, web that includes the front end and the back end and a desktop as well. So it allows you to write a common code that uh, can be shared across uh, multiple different platforms. So basically you write the business logic once and share it across different platforms. At the time of recording this video, Kotlin multi-platform is not yet stable, but it will be soon, which means that now is the right time to get introduced with it. When it comes to the libraries, uh, if you want to use some uh, functionality in your uh, Kotlin multi-platform project that uh, will be shared on every platform, then you need to search specifically for a multi-platform libraries. There are already a bunch of different libraries out there, and some of them are uh, Kotlin X uh, Serialization, Kotlin X uh, Date and Time, uh, Ktor, SQL Delight, Coin, Coroutines, and many others. Otherwise, if you don't use uh, multi-platform libraries, it's also fine, but in that case, you wouldn't be able to share that library code across uh, different platforms. I have already made a video showcasing how to build uh, a Kotlin multi-platform application for Android, Kotlin JS or a front-end, and a JVM main or the back-end. So feel free to check that out. And the second concept that I want to talk about is a Compose multi-platform. So this technology is also built uh, on top of the Kotlin multi-platform, and the main difference is that uh, it allows you to share the UI between platforms and not just the business logic. At the time of recording this video, Compose for uh, iOS is uh, still in alpha and Compose for web is uh, still in experimental phase. Like, share and subscribe if you want to see some more informative content like this.